Go on, Ireland. Front of the plane, there's the car. It freaks me out when you're right next to the propellers. <laughs> Those things are going to be spinning so fast. <laughs> Welcome to Big Corn Island. I don't actually know anything about this because Fada has organised it all, but what I know is that we had to get up at half four to fly from Managua, stop off at Bluefields, and then to the Corn Islands, which are off the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. There's a big one and a little one, and I think we're going straight to the little one. Two of your classic Caribbean islands stay for a week. And not typically, we don't have anywhere to stay at the moment. Lucky that it's early morning and we can go and find somewhere. Let's get the ferry or the shuttle, I don't, I don't know. Like sardines. There's no cars or bikes on Little Corn Island. So we're having to walk to a hotel. We don't even know if it's open. But I emailed them three times and didn't get a response, but it looks incredible. So we're walking there half an hour. Some people hire guys to take their suitcases and stuff in wheelbarrows, which is the only option. But we thought we'd hike it and it is hot. I hope it's open. So otherwise it's half an hour back and then further to go to the other hotels. Looks very nice so far though. Crystal clear water. Classic Caribbean. I think we've arrived. Is it open? That's the biggest question. The entrance, the welcome gate was closed. So apparently they're refurbishing most of the rooms, including the ones we were looking at that were in our budget. These ones right here are $300 a night, but there's nobody here. So Vada is currently trying to see what she can do. We'll see. It would have to be a huge discount. You never know though. So I'm just waiting. We weren't successful at all with the other one. We had to sleep in a beach shack last night, which was perfectly comfortable actually. Nice sea breeze to keep you cool. But this morning we have moved into where we're going to be staying for the rest of the week. I think it's pretty nice. Happy with that. Living the life of luxury. Oh, I've got a mosquito bite. Bastard. Snorkeling time. Let's go!
So this one's called the white hole? Yeah, this is the white hole. Also here is a dive inside. Scuba dive. next day back on the boat it's time to go fishing hopefully we catch something it sucks when you don't catch anything i haven't been fishing in over 15 years <laughs> this is just me glad i got seasick yesterday so too didn't fancy it so we're just starting off with classic old hand fishing <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we go. I think we're gonna go for it. It's got that two one on one line. Snapper. First class fish. Pearl snapper and what's the blue Grunt. one? Grunt. Uh, Grunt. Grunt fish. Grunt fish. Decent haul already. We're done with the anchor fishing and now we're going to try trawling for some barracuda. anything trawling but it's a very nice trip a couple of hours two three hours not a bad way to end the day so it's the next day and we're at Janet's and we're going to make rondon which is a local Caribbean dish but you're gonna use the fish from yesterday I think it's a stew of sorts but I'll get Janet to uh, explain hopefully you're gonna help make it but we're grating the coconut at the moment yeah, it is. Rondon. Is that for the sauce? Yeah. For Janet, what's in a rondon? The rondon, the broth of it is coconut. The base of it is coconut. Coconut, milk, barley, margin, onion, garlic. Then you add, you put your shrimp for the first starting when it will be done by it. Then you put your plantain, banana. Cassava, cocoa, potato. Right it, now. And it's a stew? It's a really nice one. Okay. Nice. It's a really nice one. Okay, so it doesn't have to be seafood? It don't have to. It could be corned beef, it could be corned deer, it could be pork, it could be. Okay. Uh, uh, milk. 
But you take all the coconut, do you grate it? Oh, so you just squeeze the flesh? Yeah. Ah, okay. And then do you filter it or do you just put yeah. all of it in? Exactly. No, you have to filter it. And it's locally sourced because they grow all of their own herbs. So just pick the... Is that a pepper? Yeah, sweet pepper. Nice. And what's this? Is this that basil? is parsley to make tea. This is parsley to be cooking. This is mint. Okay. This is parsley. Pas parsley? Parsley. You call it basilico in English. Oh, yeah, basil. This is margin and parsley. Margin? Yeah. What's that? I'm gonna show you right now. It's right there in the baby garden. Is that here on the beach where I'm living? You can um, have it on the sun. Smell it? Oh, what's that smell like? Oh, it's like um, oregano. Yeah. Exactly. Is that oregano? Yeah. Ah, it's oregano. It's usually dried, but we don't. This is fresh. We're done cooking. It's ready. Rondon. And the vultures descend. You're not getting any, my friend. So it turns out that eating a big bowl of hot soup in the Caribbean makes you sweat. It's a pretty intense flavour. The dried shrimp really give it a seafood soup taste. I really don't know how to explain it. It's a seafood stew and nice background spice. All in all, pretty damn good. Might seem a little bit elementary, but something I didn't mention, little corn, there's no power between 6 a.m. and 1 p.m. So if you don't charge your stuff overnight, you don't have anything. I mean, you don't have any technology, you also have a beach, but surprisingly annoying. Thank you. <laughs> Back to big corn today. Saying goodbye to little corn, it's been very nice. It's like an idyllic Caribbean island. But it's quite windy out there. It's choppy, so half an hour, a very bumpy boat ride. This little piggy might get seasick. 